Now for part two, we'll have a quick look at these Yemin Chu stones to see what happens with a UV lamp, ultraviolet. <clears throat> Previously I tried infrared and a red laser to see if I could charge the stones and there wasn't too much effect. The white light of course produced more effect of storing energy. Now I'm going to use this UV lamp which is quite bright and quite dangerous, never look into something like this with your eyes. And I'm going to try illuminating these two stones, which are here. <clears throat> They're glowing a little bit already, as you can see. What I'm going to do is switch on the UV lamp so that it charges up these stones for a few seconds. And then switch it off and, oh, wow, <laughs> that <clears throat> is quite an intense light. So perhaps these stones are more sensitive to being charged by UV light than anything else, which isn't really surprising. I think they're going to continue glowing for quite a long time. The one on the left is an older stone. There was a slice cut from a, a stone the shape of an egg. And the one on the right is one that was bought as a decoration object on Amazon for just a couple of dollars, or maybe less. Made in China, of course. Who knows how or where. I've checked these things, they're not radioactive at all. They just absorb light and store it and then re-emit light in a, as a dull green glow. So that's the end of this video. Let's see what happens next.